You're watching the GameSpot stage, brought to you by Airheads Bytes. Hello, dear friends, and welcome back to the GameSpot stage right here at E3 2016. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Steve Mails and Grant Kirkhope uh, of Ukulele. Hey, Hello. great to have you. Wonderful to be here. Yeah, thank you so much. Serene as well. Uh, we're going to have a great little chat about this game. Um, it's 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 great to see you guys here with like a really like full demo of of ukulele because there was always these worries when you, when you've kickstarters that you know we're going to see this we're going to see it we're going to see it in like five or six years time. Um, how have you felt about the whole process of, of it's, ukulele? It's been wonderful since since the Kickstarter. Everything during the Kickstarter was quite um, quite short term. So now we've been able to work for a year, kind of go dark and, and get our heads down and work on the game. Right. People, you can see people on the forums. Oh, I wonder what's happening. Which, which is kind of a good thing because we like things to be a surprise. But we've, we've expanded the team from six to twenty people. Right. And we're all heads down, and it's going great. Yeah, uh, I think that kind of whole like last year's thing was just a. A kind of it's not smoke and mirrors, but a bit of a little demo thing we had kind of going. It's so nice to have something proper right. show now, you know. And we've all been working very hard, even though we're all very old now. Can't right, <laughs> well, <laughs> old, but, but also experienced, and I guess that's a lot to Ex do. That's with. a good experience, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah, veteran, yeah, veteran. Yeah, yes, that's right. right yes. Yeah. Those are the words we kind of we bandied those words about quite a lot these days. Uh, is that a bit more important than actually? Yeah. Uh, w even with your experience, though, were you expecting the Kickstarter to be as successful as it was? No way, yeah, absolutely right. not. It was such a wonderful time. None of us will ever forget that moment. You know that that number just kept climbing and climbing we thought yeah we might get to a target after um, you know a week or so yeah but it just we blitzed the target i think it was 38 minutes and went on to be the oh UK's, my god yeah, it was ridiculous, UK's yeah. highest ever kickstarter for wow. a game and globally one of the highest ever kickstarters yeah. for a video a million dollars in the first 21 hours that's incredible i know we were oh, honestly like you press refresh going and just sort of going yeah. we thought it was broken like so you know, well, <laughs> right. forever we thank the fans forever because they yeah. they yeah. built playtonic as a as a proper studio so. yeah because you only originally asked for was at 175 yeah. 270 dollars, I think. 270, yeah. okay. Yeah. 75. We've so got a couple of weeks, uh, maybe, you know, really. And was the idea with that, obviously with a smaller team as well, was the idea with that to then use that as sort of like like seed money to like publishers and be like, look, this is something people want? Or well, no, we, we, we were, were you making a different we're game? We were going to make a yeah. game, but it was right. going to be very small scope. We thought if we get that money, the six of us can still make a game, but yeah. it would yeah. be a very small scope. Yeah. But but when the uh, when the money went through the roof, then we realised we could we could hire a proper studio. I mean, and also, like Steve, like you know, he gets paid such a lot of money. <laughs> He's so expensive <laughs> to his <laughs> boy. It's really, you know, he, he took all of it, mainly, yeah, really. Yeah. You know, driving around in my 15 year old bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a new house, a whole lot, you know, oh. serving everything, you know. So. Ridiculous. These guys. <laughs> I know, and both of you, like, design your own shirts now. And Absolutely, yeah. Well, I got to the Facebook, actually. Oh, no, That's this, pretty is, good. this yeah. is great fan art, this is. Oh, oh is it really? Oh, yeah. Nice. When, when the characters came out, there was such a great great uh, fan art community for the, the characters and you know when you get that you think yeah the, the ca people like the characters when people are prepared to do the fan art yeah. just mm -hmm. like hundreds of pieces of fan art it's amazing uh, so I guess for the folks who maybe don't know the sort of the, the predecessor or the spiritual predecessor in relation to this, uh, talk about your time working on Banjo Kazooie. Like, talk about like wh what was that like? Do you still remember those days fondly? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, too right. Their, yeah. their days we'll never forget. Really working together, and and it's an atmosphere we very much tried to recreate at Playtonic. Mm. All that, yeah, all that humour that was in Banjo Kazooie was just a team shouting down the corridor to people and all, you know all the nicknames like it's almost like banjo kazooie and tui was yesterday and <laughs> right Nicolini's today like it's, there's no it's just the same old mickey taking that went on back then it's nothing's different but it's the same yeah. daft things it's still the same nicknames nothing it's you know it's a bit boring really it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> and that kind of bled into the game that's why the game had that kind of funny sarcastic humor thing going on mm. you know just because we're all that's the way. It, that's the way we were. Yeah. <laughs> we, we try to work in the same efficient way. So, so there's efficient, uh, efficient, yeah. efficient. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I think I know that word. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there's little wasted work because the team is experienced in this sort of game. So, mm. yeah. that allows us, as because 20 people for a game of this scope is still quite small. So, I think that Absolutely. allows mm. us to uh, punch above our weight a little bit. So. Totally. I mean, as a Kickstarter, like it, it, it seemed like a pretty sound investment because I know it's not investment, but like a pretty sound punt because I mean, you guys are so experienced in what you're doing, and you have that sort of like I don't know, like you're 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 probably more experienced as individuals than a lot of other people would be in this genre, which also is very underserved at the moment. Like you're you're. Cl you know, in some ways, some of the only people left who have ever made these types <laughs> of games. You yeah. know? We're just so yeah. obvious to yeah. so long, we're about to keep going. Yeah. 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 Like, I for a new studio yeah. to whirl up something like this would have taken a lot more yeah. time and a lot more people. To a lot of young people, this is a new genre because they've right. probably never played free, yeah. uh, you know, free roaming uh, 
open world platformers. So yeah, like a, in, in the nineties when we did, did those games, it was a bit like you know um, there was tons of platformers around. You know, but the, yeah. like now it's weird that we're like they've been out now. There's no one. This, we're like the only guys out, out there right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, I mean, yeah. like when Banjo Kazooie was a thing, but that was when three D platformers were kind of in their heyday. Oh yeah, right? yeah. Like, yeah. Does that mean like you know you're making ukulele now, and there's almost like a brand new audience that you are mm. making a game yeah. for? Are you yeah. like adjusting or like trying to change things up a bit to yeah. cater to the audience? Yeah, yeah we're, we're doing we're doing new stuff, things mainly around player choice. So we've got expandable worlds where our fully expanded worlds are so big we start the play off with a more manageable um, chunk of world and then when they've got enough quillies they can progress to either expand the world to see a lot more or they can go straight to the next world so they've got a choice there or there's um, tonics which are like playing modifiers so if you're struggling right. with a challenge you can boost your powers in a certain way you don't have to unlock the moves in a particular order I think we're trying to we're trying to get that kind of warm tickliness from the original games mm. and like bring it up to date, you know. So we kind of we're, we're making sure we're, we've got enough of that spirit in there. Yeah. And adding because hopefully we're like we're like better now than we were then, you know. Right. So there's no guarantees, like, but we're hoping that we're a, I'm a better composer. He's right. a better artist, which right. is unlikely. I guarantee. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, you know, he's, he's he's struggling a little bit, you know. But, uh, but I mean, um, you know, so we're hoping that <laughs> it's a bit we're better now than we were then. So. You know, it's not a retro game. It's supposed to be. It's got to have that 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 nice. It's like putting on your favorite pair of slippers. It feels nice. Right. It makes you smile. But it's, there's new stuff too. You know. So. Yeah. And it back in, but the eighty thousand eighty thousand backers are expecting a spiritual successor to Banjo. So right. So it's a fine line. We don't stray too far away from that formula they're expecting. But then again, we are bringing in loads of cool new features as well. And, and the, the cart. Oh my God. The cart sequences. Are <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got to have a cart, haven't you? <laughs> you know. And the fact that it's on you know current gen consoles and with the graphics that. That, that makes it fresh straight away because it's yeah. a genre that just it just hasn't been around for so long. Mm. Totally, and I, I feel like this is still one of those genres that a lot of people have trouble nailing the art style for it. Yeah, it, it's just our natural art style being part of Rare and now Platonic. It, it's just the art style that comes naturally to us, and I think that will be Platonic's art style going forward into yeah. future. Yeah, the genres. word sort of one trick pony springs to mind, really. <laughs> 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 if it's a good trick, you might as well stick with it. That's <laughs> right. Well, well, I mean, you're going back to your old tricks know, as well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all right. right, right, right. No, 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 it's true. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Five Tunes, um, <laughs> for the rest of his life, he just reverses yeah, the same them old all jokes. Never get tired, really do they? <laughs> them all. Yeah, how are you going to manage that one, Grant? Like trying to obviously like instill that, that classic music that people know know you know your work so fondly. Well, for Well, you know, I think I think there's some umpa left in me yet. I think you know a bit of umpa. It's a bit it's a bit left over from from before, so I'm just churning it out. You know, I think I think we we have been really kind of cognizant not to just it would it would be easy to be an autopilot, right? just kind of do the same thing we did before. Right. We're really careful not to do that. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're pushing each other to say, I think we can do better than that. And you know, musically and all that stuff, we're, all, we're trying really hard to make it extra special. Yeah. You know, so um, we're trying our best. So, and I guess the other thing about like having such success on, on Kickstarter and, and it, like, there seems to be like this general air of like, there's no worry with this one. It seems like we usually with the Kickstarter, <laughs> people are like very like, yeah, oh, it's not yeah. coming together. I, this one seems like it's like, it's pretty solid. So yeah, then, are you, yeah. you know, you, it's like a second lease of life for you guys. Like yeah. the band back together. It's yeah. Platonic it is, it now, is you're exactly thinking. like that. When you, when you walk into the office and you see all these old faces from the past. Old from, faces. Yeah, old faces. <laughs> <people, yeah. laughs> <laughs> that you maybe haven't worked with since like 20 years ago. Right. Yeah. Sometimes it's like some kind of strange alternate reality. You know, you have to pinch yourself. This mm -hmm. is really happening. So. But it, it, it's been a really sort of, sort of set of fortunate disasters that have kind of got us back together again, really, because some of the guys got laid off from Rare. Some yeah. of the guys left Rare. So it's the first time since Banjo 2 that we're all available really right so yeah, yeah. it is yeah. a, it has been that kind of strange alarm of the stars so it's kind of happened at a, at a really great time because yeah, we've, we've talked about this a little bit before over yeah. the years but um kudos to gavin price our studio head he he was the one who brought us all together really and said come on lads you know i think we can do this yeah so, uh, yeah because him and his wife him and his wife had, had a cake shop in burton on trent is that what he did afterwards well he had at the same time I was working at rare that was other okay. business, right? so he's used to kind of getting business loans all, like us lot alike you know? <laughs> right so he was like she so was like i don't have to do this I you just you just make music <laughs> yeah, yeah. About. he was like yeah. I'll, I'll put it together don't worry i'll sort all the business stuff out and you can just guys can just do it so it, i think it took him to do it really as a catalyst right so the cake experience has been very valuable that's great. Did he still make the cakes? cakes I think, I don't know, I think yeah, his wife made the cakes. I thought, so he, yeah. sold, I thought he sold the cake shop. He sold the cake shop. No. You can still oh, make yeah. cakes, though. Yeah, I think he's about the cake. Yeah, make cakes still, at home. There's still cakes going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still a lot of cakeage. Uh, <laughs> when are we going to get to play ukulele? Well, um, backers will play it first because there's the, um, the toy box, which is coming out um, next month. Yeah, that's, wonderful. Um, it was a certain tier for Kickstarter. It's a spoiler-free uh, special level that's been created. There's, there's things to do on there. There's a new NPC to meet. There's 
quills to collect. You can try all the moves. Play, um, players can give us feedback. Yeah, that's great to get some feedback from them. Like, yeah, you know, the, that helps to balance it all. Certainly, it makes them feel involved. Yeah, yeah. And uh, people can't buy into that now, they right? They can't. No, okay, that okay. was a backer exclusive. Yeah. That's and cool. then after yeah. that, it's uh, first quarter 2017. Awesome. Yeah. We're looking forward to it. Thank you both yeah. so much for coming on. Well, I have one you. random question for All you, right. though, Grant. Right. Last one up. All I was right. looking through your Wikipedia page, which oh, God. is quite long. Right. You know, <laughs> I don't know how much duplication happened in that with the music, <laughs> but it's quite long. It's really good. Right. And one of the games I saw in there was Fart Cat. Fart Cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did, I did, I did which, do Fart Cat. Which yeah. is an iOS game which yeah. was made by <laughs> Ben is, Coelho right. and Rich Gallup, who used to do my job. That's right. Do this job. I know those guys, yeah. So, yeah, you know those guys? Yeah, because like, I, I used to work at uh, 38, uh, 38. Oh, you studios, worked at 38 as well. I did Kings of Amalore, right? So, right. So, oh. like, so I knew those guys. So when it went, I went bust. Yes. Fart Cat was their, their next venture, which, of course, didn't go so well, of, you know. But, it, you know, it's n notorious, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I'd heard you mention that one well. tune for that one. <laughs> it was quite farty, obviously. Yes, yeah. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> guys, on your success with uh, Thanks Thanks Kickstarter. So much. And Thanks, Thanks for having us on. Not at all. Looking forward to playing it uh, yeah. early next year. You're watching the GameSpot stage, brought to you by Airheads Bites.